Hello everybody, uh, new video here. Uh, I had a request about a video on an old video that I made. Uh, it's out of the YouTube uh, and I'm gonna post it, the question and everything about. Uh, first of all, the news. The news that you guys don't know and I haven't shared it yet, but I'm sharing it now, is that I open up a new YouTube channel. I open up a new YouTube channel, so that could be the astrology reports. So the astrology reports can be on a different channel and don't mix anymore the astrology reports with the twin flame stuff, the spirituality stuff. So uh, here it's the channel. Um, if you like it, you go there. Uh, the channel it's a uh, called Astro Viber. Uh, the astrology report. I was uploading it there uh, one day ago. And uh, if you look at it for the astrology reports, they're gonna be there in this channel. They're not gonna be anymore attached to the twin flames. Into uh, if you are completely wanted to have only the astrology reports, uh, the best thing for you will be uh, go ahead and subscribe for this channel. That way you can listen the reports. Into um, that it's uh, the one news that the news that the twin flame event that it's here in. Uh, Aurora, Illinois, that is going to be for Chicago land area or for all of the United States. Uh, uh, we have some people keep uh, signing up. Uh, it's going to be on November 15, 16, and 17. Uh, if you have a questions, go ahead, find me on the Facebook or message me here on the YouTube and I can uh, see what's going on into it. I'm monitoring now the both channels uh, on it. Uh, if you got any questions with that. So let's go about the video. What was the video about and what happened today? Uh, I was talking to a few people and all of a sudden the, you know, how that funny part is when you talk to other people, they all have the same issue, the same problem. And when you see a problem that came from overseas from brother, brother Mario, uh, hi Mario, I'll tag you into it. I'll post it in the Facebook. Um, is the things about uh, detachments from the twin flame, but it's also a detachment of what you need to do and how the things they need to be in uh, order you to help you uh, about what's going on. So I'm gonna read you uh, um, the comment that was on uh, YouTube. It was about twin flames detachment, why and how to detach into it. it was very good question so I went in and I said you know what I'm gonna make some video on this so uh, I keep my promise uh, to Mile and uh, I think I pronounced the name right into it uh, he asked uh, spiritual level ask how to let go of emotions and be emotionless like Spock my feeling is that you let go of your twin you become detached. When you are detached, you are free, and it's also understand you do are the no longer rule of the emotions of your ego, but that doesn't mean that you have no emotions like human being. When you have reached total detachment, you feel completely free. It's an amazing feeling. People ask you how can you reach detachment, and it just happens when you are ready. It seems I can't be forced. You reach as part of your journey, but you cannot reach detachment until you are ready. Um, detachments. Uh, you all know my favorite triangle uh, into and my favorite triangle here is the divine here is you, here is your TF. So here, this is the Earth connection. And uh, when you attach yourself to the twin flame and the Earth, and the Earth issues and the Earth situations, you're trying to use pretty much everything so you can establish this connection here. You can go ahead and have this physical union. Until you have the physical union, 
you're not going to be working on this part here, neither is your TF, neither the divine will work on that because your focus is up here. Your focus stays in the old understanding, in the old paradigm, in the old world that's physical, it's physical. And I spoke with someone, it was about like, well, do you, I'm with an union with my twin flame, but there is a lot of stuff goes on. Uh, they did this, they did that, uh, this bad thing happened, that bad thing happened. And then to my mind was like, where is your focus in? Your focus is still on this. I yours are a twin flame in union helping this. And what I find now that a lot of the people, when they come together as a union, they don't do this part. They don't detach from this. They don't get into that part. When the connection is here and it's broken and it's blocked, as you already know in some of the videos, you're trying to do anything is possible this to be connected back again, this to exist again. And, uh, a lot of the people trying to, specifically are females, they try to use uh, readings, they try to use uh, different rituals, Akashic records, uh, meditations, all sort of things that they think that they can force this part here. That part here is broken, so you can focus on this, not on this. See, in the normal regular relationships, you connect on the physical. Okay, let me draw it better. Here you go ahead, connect in the physical. You get the physical part, which is the nature. And you think that you make you you made it through. But when you find out in life, you still don't have a great relationship because neither this Neither this has established something and throughout the relationship you're trying to go ahead and connect and soul with the divine and that doesn't work. For 99% of the people it doesn't work. Simply they don't do their inner work into it. They focus on this. If this works, if you are making the money and if we get in a good time and if you, everything is okay, it's okay. But if you live in a secret life and the things are now right the way it's supposed to be, then you're looking for something else. You're looking for the divine connections in you. And uh, I'm drawing this because uh, Brother Mario made a great post today. So funny how the things happen all the time in a one day into. And uh, what he wrote he wrote it in Italian, I had to translate it in English into. So, um, so here is the Italian version and here is the English translation. The question was about meditation. Mario, give us some meditation tips. So what Mario wrote, if I give you a meditation tip, it will be like I told you to escape from the flame. Love for the twin flame is everything. Meditation included. It's a continuous meditation, 24 hours. Me in the past, I practiced a transcendental meditation and tend to be energetic. They're technical. That can serve you until you meet love. The techniques we can seek, find, and practice welcoming information through the guide comes from outside. The love of the flame has found us and it's our inner master in expansion movement from the inside to outside, from heart to outside. My meditation advice is this, love your twin flame unconditionally. So uh, I wrote this post and uh, I uh, read this post and I wrote back into Mario and uh, I respond this to him. Into. What happened into the meditation is that traditional meditation is for people who need to touch base with their own soul. Uh, rituals, Reiki, reading, workshops, meditation, and so on, are like a medicine, you take the medicine till the next time. And this is what happens into it. It's uh, when you detach from your twin flame, 
okay if you did it through some kind of way other than just to be doing your divine visions you're gonna go back and you're gonna be looking for something else if you go to your reiki and if the reiki master uh, didn't talk to you about the issues the problems that created in you they can fix your energy wise but they have to come back that you have to come back with that to them if you don't solve the cause of the issue you're not treating uh, the thing you acting like a medicine you give them the pill and they go back home they're happy and the next time they say like well i need another pill i gotta make another session uh, this is the same thing like you go into a traditional doctor and he's like, you know, my head hurts, uh, give me some meds, they give you some meds, you finish the meds and then you go back to the doctor and says like, I need more. Well, we're not uh, treating the official cause, you treating the result. And I wrote it back to him that um, if you solve the problem, there is no reason for the meditation. Uh, the reason is, is about everything it's inside of the soul. Your soul, it's like a computer. You need something, you want to find something, you want to meditate something, you can meditate and automatically you can go ahead and touch base with your soul because the soul now it's with you. If you continue to meditate and continue to do stuff, that means that uh, somehow you still attach, some way you still attachments to the twin flame, for the physical and everything and that's why the separation it's created for that purpose so you can be focused within the divine you can evolve you can be ready into it because the divine can go ahead and talk to your twin not you and that's what a lot of the people they're trying to use everything in order they can go ahead and face all that uh and i wrote back to him and yes unconditional love is the answer be love and uh, Mario uh, replied, thanks God, now we know, grateful for the rest of my life. The thing is that uh, uh, we work with a lot of people who are uh, there anywhere between the earth uh, to the part of the midst ages where they go ahead and change things to your people who already have been into that uh, journey as a twin flames. I had an email, I mean message, I'm sorry, not email, message from someone who's been the twin flame for 20 years. Long time before I even know the word my twin flame. And uh, they share it a little bit, uh, things about it, and I asked them, can you just please share your story? So that way we'll benefit the society, we'll benefit people, we're going to benefit the future generations into so to go back into it is the attachment uh, when exist on the physical part on it the only way you can do this is when you go this way and this is why it's so easy after so many years you're expecting someone to close this which is the runner usually uh, does that the runner have to go ahead and do their own inner work of realization into it's not about uh, what you do it is about what they do to themselves so when you stop all kind of gimmicks and all kind of like uh, chasing and all kind of like uh, uh, parts of trying to find and get connected to your true flame, then you will understand you're completely detached. You are only attached of here. And that part into the divine. And then you allow the divine, they can cross this road here. And until you don't understand this, until you don't do it, you won't have that inner peace that we talk about, about the questions that was brought in. And the question was, to go back into it, um, 
how to let go of the emotions. Emotions, they are based out of the old way, of the old learnings. That you have to act in a certain way because that's what the society says. Let me tell you what society is. Society is unwritten laws accepting by the majority of the people. But those are unwritten laws. Love doesn't give a damn about those laws. And that's why a lot of the people have issues with it. Into. Uh, it's not about you to be emotionless. Uh, you working from the vibrations of the soul. You just can look at someone who probably did something very bad and they look at you and you're just like, well, you are bad. You have to learn how bad you are. Why do you expect me to help you? I'm not supposed to help you. I understand what happened to you, but now that's the story. You know, um, it's not about to be emotionless. It's you can go ahead and help that person if you feel it's the right thing. But if it's to feel the right thing that they have to get up on their own selves so they can learn what they did to themselves, uh, that's the way it should be. You're going to be acting from the point of view of soul, not the point of view of what uh, the society says it is into uh, detachments of that uh, uh, human way I would say like uh, acting on the base of the society uh, will create a new personality of you because your actions they're gonna be based of soul they're not gonna be based of whatever everybody have expectation you to do when uh, you don't do the things that everybody expect from you then they look at you, they call you crazy. Uh, that's mean that you're on the right road. Because the part of you uh, have to be crazy. You have to be rebel. You have to fight the old ways. That's what you are a twin flame. You're not a twin flame for just because of it. You came in to bring the soul way of life into the earth. And that's what uh, everybody wants. And to finish it with this, into it, uh, the emotions are uh, uh, triggered by the ego, yes, uh, by your own things, the way you think your expectation is. Uh, usually before the separation, uh, that is between the bubble phase and the separation, that is a, the inner fight of the ego. I made the videos, they are out in the YouTube, into it. Uh, this is why the twin flames they get separated because they don't trust the soul love. They don't trust. And when they trust the emotions, for example, the emotions of anger, they get in angry at their twin flame. They get in angry at the divine. And that's what triggers a lot of the stuff into it. But if you knew and you trust the soul that a thing's gonna be okay, things gonna be fine, you have the peace vibrations in the soul then that vibrations transfer to the other and helps everybody around you to have those vibrations in peace. And that brings the peace in the soul and brings you to what you need to be, actions made out of a soul. I spoke with someone today uh, who was very angry, uh, very ah, and I'm like, you know what, uh, you made actions, but they were based out of your anger. And you gotta be careful because uh, moments of anger uh, can save you thousands of moments of regrets into. And when you detach from the ego, when you are basically emotionless, you have the state of the unconditional love that we talk about into it. Because unconditional love, it's uh, you can give it to everybody, okay? But you have to understand there's gonna be some time and moments that uh, you have to understand that some people you don't have to give them a hand because they are depending on giving them a hand they have to learn how to walk on their own this is like a, a one-year-old uh, baby is trying and trying to walk on themselves and you go out and you help them all the time to walk when a dare issue their uh, program is they can learn to walk on their own so there's got to be a moment of time of life when the people comes in all the time 
for help all the time for things to you, uh, you're going to be like, hey, focus on your soul. Focus on your soul. Focus on your soul. Don't depending on this anymore. That's old. Stop doing this. You're hurting yourself. But a lot of the people, they don't listen. A lot of the people continue to going uh, to the parts of, uh, uh, I need this. I want to try this. I want to try that. I'm going to get information for Akashic Records so I can be able to do this. Time out. Stop in there. Um, that is the old way of doing things. The right way of searching the things inside of your soul and let the universe, let the divine do in it its own inner work. And this is why the detachments of your twin flame it's not only needed, it's also an, it's a necessary. That way your twin flame has to overcome. Usually that's the runner who cuts the cuts the parts because the chaser wants to connect this. The runner who is running, who is a silent 90% of the time, uh, it's connecting to a very bad emotions, could be ignorance, could be uh, a lot of the females, they're talking to me, they talking bad stuff about men. I mean, the words are... Anyway, you can imagine. Let's not uh, specify it into it. Um, it's also applied to the female runners, so let's not specify it other. Let's not call in the names in here. But the biggest problem with the runner, it's uh, there. It's that they have to go ahead and do their own inner realization. That is the part when they have to realize how to go back to you, how to reconnect with you, and how to go back and reconnect with the divine and that is going to be their biggest challenge it's not your job it's their job and when you detach from this chasing on all the levels including spiritual level because it's not you that chasing them it's the divine that chasing them and then if everything is okay and it's right that union will happen into it. And the main reason is to detach is you to establish your own self with the divine. That is your main job. Keep the door open for your twin flame, get in with the divine, and let the things happen on their own divine timing into. Um, Thank you for the questions. I hope that this will answer the question that was brought in into it. If you got any questions, plus uh, send them to uh, my Facebook because otherwise uh, I miss them sometimes on the Facebook. I see that there is somebody asked the questions about this about a year ago, two years ago, and uh, some way, somehow, I missed it. Some way, uh, I can't be able to see everybody's stuff. So um, again, thank you so much for watching this video and whatever you do, don't act on the, by, on the base of emotions. Emotions, they can come in and come out, but the vibrations in soul, they stay there. If you did something bad, figure it out what you did, find a forgiveness for yourself. I made a post about this today on Facebook. Find a forgiveness for yourself. And that forgiveness to yourself is going to free you up. You can go ahead and say to forgive someone if you do not forgive yourself first. You can't say uh, things about it to someone if you don't say it to yourself first. How can you love someone if you don't love yourself first? You have to learn the self-love and the love with the divine that exists between you and the divine because... You're part of the divine. You have a soul. That's it. It is what it is. Like it or not, you have a soul. And basically of that soul, if you did the wrong stuff, you're going to create the guilt of the emotions, but you're also going to create the guilt in the soul. Uh, the guilt of the emotions, over the time, they can go away. Uh, 
you listen the society, you listen friends, relatives, co-workers, name it, into it, and you will be feeling fine. What about your soul though? The vibrations and soul, they're gonna stay there. And doesn't matter what you do, you can't run away from it. Because the vibes and the soul, they're gonna come back to you at the most unexpected time. And they're gonna show you what did you do. So if you detach from your twin, whatever happened with your twin, you can move on in your mission. You can go ahead, help the other twin flies into it. And you're gonna be much, much, much better in internal peace inside of the soul. So that is my personal advice to you guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching the videos and uh, thank you so much and be loved.